Now to the grand jury investigating former President Trump. The panel reconvened today to consider whether to indict Trump over alleged hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels. They also heard from another witness as Trump continues to deny any wrongdoing, even warning there would be death and destruction if he's indicted. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett is live in Lower Manhattan with the latest. N.J. And Sandra, as you know, testimony before a grand jury is secret. It happens behind closed doors. But yes, Eyewitness News has confirmed that jurors heard today from David Pecker, the former publisher of the National Enquirer. Pecker testified this afternoon. I'm told another witness will be called. The grand jury was expected to return to Center Street today for the first time in a week. Proceedings conducted in strict secrecy amid rising security concerns. Security around Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg has been ramped up after a series of death threats, including an envelope with white powder received here last week, which turned out to be harmless. Over the weekend, Donald Trump's incendiary, at times racist rhetoric, reached a crescendo. The new weapon being used by out of control, unhinged Democrats to cheat on election is criminally investigating a candidate. On social media, Trump warned of potential death and destruction if he's indicted, calling Manhattan's black DA an animal and a degenerate psychopath. Language some experts believe is intended to intimidate not only Bragg and his team of prosecutors, but the jurors themselves. 23 men and women sit on the grand jury. 12 are needed to indict the former president. In Harlem today, several elected leaders defended Bragg and condemned Trump as irresponsible, even dangerous. Not even a former president of the United States is above the law. So we know that this process will continue. We will not be intimidated as a community by threats. And we're here to watch our DAs back. Again, the grand jury today heard from David Pecker, the former publisher of the National Enquirer. This is, I'm told, Pecker's second appearance before the panel. At least one more witness is expected. When that witness testifies, still not clear tonight.